Starting us off at number 10, Madonna and Guy Ritchie. Madonna and Guy Ritchie have been divorced for over 10 years, but just because their breakup happened so long ago, that doesn't necessarily mean that their hatred towards one another has ended. The two were married for about 8 years, but their distaste for one another has lasted much longer. It seems like because Madonna was working so hard in her career that things became strained between the two of them and the hostility began to grow. A lot of tabloids said that Madonna was walking all over Guy and that he never had a say in anything. Whether that's 100% true or not, we may never know. But one thing's for sure, there was a lot of pent up emotions going on over there. So coming out of their divorce, the worst of it started to come out. Guy said that his relationship with Madonna was like a soap opera and that she was more concerned with her public image than she was with their marriage. Madonna has said that she felt like she was incarcerated during their marriage and that Guy was nothing but a gold digger. See, what I'm seeing here is that their relationship problems had a lot to do with careers and money and sometimes that can really break two people apart. In at 9, Naya Rivera and Big Sean. In the past, Naya Rivera was very vocal about her relationship with Big Sean. Naya felt so strongly about their breakup that she even included it in her tell all book. Apparently, according to Naya's book, she actually found Big Sean cheating on her with Ariana Grande. She wrote a lot about their relationship in the book and shared some pretty juicy details. Big Sean obviously wasn't thrilled about being exposed like that and replied to Naya's tea spill in his song No More Interviews. He said, quote, And you know the funny thing about it is my ex wants to write a tell-all. Effed up thing about it is that she ain't even tell all. End quote. I mean, I don't know, guys. If you're out here exposing your ex in book form and through music, there's gotta be some hate there because no civil relationship ends with a tell all, you know? At number eight, Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert. Blake Shelton and Miranda Lambert had a pretty messy breakup, that's for sure. There was so much drama, from cheating allegations to their numerous arguments over things like travel, friendships, and even starting a family. The couple divorced in 2015, but their feud didn't stop once they signed the papers. Oh uh, no. Their feud subsided, yes, but only to erupt a few years later. During their marriage, there was a lot of cheating allegations on both sides. Blake accused Miranda of cheating a few times, and the same with Miranda to Blake. But in 2018, when news broke about Miranda having allegedly been dating a married man, Blake came out of the shadows to say this about Miranda being the other woman. Blake said, quote, Been taking the high road for a long time. I almost gave up. But I can finally see something on the horizon up there. Wait, could it be? Yup, it's karma. Whoa there, Blakey boy. That was a little touchy, don't you think? I mean, the shade is real over here. The sarcasm and the tone of this tweet was just a lot. So Obviously, you know, there's still some animosity over here. Even though both Blake and Miranda have moved on with their lives, I guess they still have enough hate for each other to get some jabs in sometimes. Coming in at number 7, Katy Perry and Russell Brand. Does anyone else remember when Russell Brand broke up with Katy Perry over text? If you've ever been dumped over text, you know how much that hurts. Like, come on, at least tell me to my face. And now imagine how much it would suck to have someone tell you that they're divorcing you over text just before going to perform for a concert. That's what happened to Katy Perry, so honestly, there's no wonder why she hates this guy. Apparently, Russell even said in a stand-up routine that after he was divorced, he was going to become a monk since they get about the same amount of, hmm, action as he did with Perry. He also said that during said action, he would think about other women. Like, that's just not cool. Not cool. I mean, at this point, their whole relationship is all water under the bridge. Their marriage only lasted 14 months and they've gone their separate ways. Katie is now with Orlando Bloom and they have a cute little baby together and Russell's also living his life with a new partner. But my goodness, there were some bad vibes from them at first. Also, did you know that after he texted Katie that he was leaving her, he just like didn't talk to her ever again? Like what the f Dude, that's not cool. In at six, Ed Sheeran and Ellie Golding. Now, with these two, there are conflicting stories. There's Ed's side where he says that he and Ellie were an item, and then there's Ellie's side where she's like, LOL, no dude. But basically, the story goes, Ed Sheeran called Ellie out because he said that she cheated on him with Niall Horan. She was out there getting that 1D, you know? Ed sang about the whole ordeal in his song, Don't, saying, quote, I never saw him as a threat until you disappeared with him to have sex, of course. Ed did not hold back. But then Ellie was like, whoa, whoa, wait, hold up, no. 
And then she came out with a song of her own, On My Mind, where she said, quote, you were talking deep like it was mad love to you. You wanted my heart, but I just liked your tattoos. Ellie did not hold back either. Ellie basically said, we weren't a thing. I just thought you were cute. Poor Ed was heartbroken, but has since said that he's forgiven Ellie for cheating. I guess we'll never really know if they were actually a real couple or not, but maybe it's for the best. Halfway through at number five, Sofia Vergara and Nick Loeb. This one was messy. Basically, Modern Family star Sofia Vergara and her ex-husband Nick Loeb had a messy divorce and even messier custody battle because of their potential offspring. Yes, that's right, I said potential. Basically, what happened here is that while they were together, they had embryos frozen for their later use to start a family. But since they were getting divorced, they had to sort of divide up their frozen progeny and Nick wanted them for himself. He even went so far as to file a right to life lawsuit against Sofia because she wouldn't let him have the embryos and he even went out of his way to find a potential surrogate, tried to implant the embryos in her, and created a trust fund for the kids. Talk about petty. Like he really said, if you won't let me have them frozen, I'll thaw them out and raise them as my own. Fortunately for Sophia's legal case, his actions led him to breaking the terms of their contract and so he ended up up the creek without a paddle, so to speak. But yeah, imagine being so upset with your ex that you go to the lengths that this guy did. Phew. At number four, Zayn Malik and Perry Edwards. Zayn and Perry had started dating in 2012 and were engaged in 2013, but things turned sour soon after and there was some hate in the mix there. At first, when news of their split broke, there was little to no information about it other than reports that Zayn had asked Perry to move out of their house that they shared together and that neither one of them were really talking about what happened between them. But things got heated when Zayn retweeted a tweet that said, retweet for Fifth Harmony's worth it or favorite for Little Mix's Black Magic. If you don't already know, Perry Edwards was part of the girl group Little Mix, so you'd think that Zayn would hit favorite and vote for his ex's music group, right? Wrongo. He retweeted. Fans immediately started the hashtag Zayn has no chill. Soon enough, Perry bounced back from the breakup and said this in her song, shout out to my ex about Zayn. She said, quote, this is a shout out to my ex, heard he in love with some other chick, hope she getting better sex, hope she ain't faking it like I did, end quote. The other chick mentioned in the song was even a reference to Gigi Hadid, Zayn's newest and current partner. Nice to see that Harry had it in her to clap back too. Coming in at number three, Rob Kardashian. Just Rob Kardashian. Rob Kardashian has a sort of reputation for being a little hostile towards his exes. Now, as I was doing the research for this video, I came to the conclusion that even though Rob is pretty shady to his exes, the women he dated don't have shining reviews for him either. So even though he's on his high horse saying how all of his exes are S-L-U-T-S's and how he's been cheated on by all of them and just kind of talks trash about them, they've also had some things to say about him in return. Most notably, his ex Rita Ora once said that his little buddy downstairs was kind of whack and that she had to quote, get it from somewhere else. Harsh. <laughs> Apparently what Rob said in response to his falling out with his baby mama Black China was so bad and damaging to her career that she even sued him and his family for defamation and damages to her brand. There are some serious hatefulness going on over there. In at two, Justin Bieber and Selena Gomez. I think we're all familiar with the Jelena fiasco. We all know about their on and off relationship and the hostility there. I mean, for a couple who seem to love each other, albeit on and off, they sure do have a lot of pent up aggression towards one another. Now, I'm not gonna get into their entire relationship turmoil because that's gonna be a 20 minute video. So let's fast forward to their shady shade after they ended things. When Justin went public with his relationship with Sophia Richie, Justin got some hate from Jelena Shippers and this started a bit of a feud between the Biebs and Selena. Selena jumped on the bandwagon along with the Jelena Shippers and commented, quote, if you can't handle the hate, then stop posting pictures of your girlfriend, LOL. It should be special between you two only. Don't be mad at your friends, they love you. I guess Justin didn't appreciate Selena jumping in saying, quote, it's funny to see people that used me for attention and still try and point the finger this way. Sad, all love. Oof. <laughs> well, Selena hit back again saying, funny how the ones that cheated multiple times are pointing the finger at the ones that were forgiving and supportive. No wonder fans are mad, sad, all love. Shade. I love how they use each other's words against them. Like that's so shady. Well, this instance isn't the only time there's been hostility between them and their partners. Justin also got into a fight with Orlando Bloom after being seen with Selena and had some harsh words for the weekend during that weird time too. 
Glad this Jelena phase is over though. Don't need any more of that drama. Finally in at number one, everyone who has ever dated Taylor Swift. I'm gonna keep this one brief because I'm pretty sure you know what's happening here. Whenever Taylor endures a breakup, it's bound to be featured in her next album. Though her fans always enjoy her music and love picking apart her lyrics to decipher who each song is about, turns out her exes aren't quite fans of that. We've seen some of her exes talk about their feelings about having their relationships with Taylor come out in song. Taylor Lautner once said that he wasn't a fan of the music, and same with John Mayer. I'm just saying that Taylor's exes probably have a little hostility towards her once her music drops. I'm pretty sure they're holding their breath as soon as she announces a new album, like, is it gonna be me this time? At number 10, Sam Smith and Jonathan Zeisel. Now for this couple, I don't know if I'd say they hate each other, but there's definitely some shade, so this counts enough for me to include it. Also, the shade here is kinda juicy, so I just had to talk about it. Sam Smith went official with Jonathan back in early 2015, just for them to break up shortly after confirming their relationship. Though the public was only made aware of their relationship for a short time, they must have spent a lot of time together prior since Sam wrote a lot about him and his dating Jonathan. It seems like their breakup did wonders for Sam's music career, though we haven't been made aware of any specifics about their relationship. Since Sam wrote so much about their relationship, his album containing these details wound up winning him record of the year. During his acceptance speech for this award, Sam said, quote, Just a quick one, I want to thank the man who this record is about who I fell in love with last year. Thank you for breaking my heart because you got me four Grammys. The shade, but also true though. Sometimes you just need to get your heart broken to evolve and be better. At number nine, Naomi Campbell and Vladislav Doronin. Naomi Campbell and ex Vladislav are not at all on good terms following their breakup. Turns out there may have been some theft going on after they broke up and now they're suing each other. This is a classic case of he said, she said in the courts. Naomi originally sued her ex because she claimed that he stole some of her belongings after their breakup, but now Vladislav is copping back by throwing a counter suit in Naomi's face, claiming that the situation is actually the other way around and that Naomi actually stole from him. Really, I don't know what to believe, but the bottom line here is that there's some serious animosity. The pair broke up all the way back in 2013 and are only now being sued, so obviously there have been some tensions this whole time. They're both so rich that they honestly could have just brushed it aside, but I don't know man, there seems to be something else going on here other than just theft to have them at each other's throats this whole time. At number eight, Rihanna and most of her exes. Rihanna is one of the most boss ass B words in the industry hands down. She's a strong independent woman who puts her needs first and takes no nonsense from anyone and I wholeheartedly admire that. One of the things that I admire about Riri is her composure when it comes to her relationships. When a relationship ends, she doesn't dwell on the past and she just moves on with her life. Even after her breakup with billionaire Hassan Jamil, she just walked away and continued on with herself. When people judge Rihanna for breaking up with her partners, they kind of sound dumb to be honest. I mean, obviously Rihanna is in these relationships for the partner and if she doesn't feel like it's satisfactory, she's gonna leave, period. It doesn't matter if they have money or status, but even if she doesn't dwell on the past, that doesn't mean she doesn't say anything about her relationships. In an instance of subtle shade towards her exes, Rihanna said, quote, none of my exes are married or in happy relationships, so it's safe to say that I wasn't the problem, lol. Nuff said, Re. Nuff said. At number seven, Sophia Bush and Chad Michael Murray. Sophia and Chad were one of the hottest couples of the early 2000s. After meeting on the set of their show One Tree Hill, the two were engaged and wed in 2005. But only after five months of marriage, they split up and there's been tensions ever since. Sophia once said that she never wanted to marry Chad in the first place and that it was the people around her as well as the One Tree Hill producers who pressured her into the marriage and said that the whole thing was a bad idea. When asked about her relationship with Chad in an interview with Andy Cohen, she said, quote, my mother said to me that if you don't have any anything nice to say, not to say anything at all. Yikes. Obviously, she still has some hard feelings towards her ex. At number six, Lucy Hale and Chris Silka. Lucy and Chris dated briefly back in 2012, and following the split, there was some animosity. Though Lucy never reportedly said anything about her ex, Chris said plenty. After a fan tweeted at Chris saying that his girlfriend, this being Lucy, was gorgeous, instead of replying with a compliment or anything nice really, he instead replied with quote, don't have a girlfriend, she decided she was too good. Yikes, dude. I guess their breakup wasn't exactly mutual. 
He then went on to pose the idea that Lucy was just trying to social climb and used him for status in the relationship, then tweeted, quote, There's a difference between celebrities and movie stars. Celebrities fade away while movie stars stick around forever. I don't know about you guys, but this sounds a little bit salty. Just a tad. Halfway through at number five, Noah Cyrus and Lil Xan. Noah and Lil Xan broke up in 2018, and their breakup was messy to say the least. Though they were only together for a short time, their breakup was brutal and very public. It started with the cheating allegations and went on from there. Lil Xan accused Noah of cheating and Noah shut down those allegations and then the cheating allegations were put on Lil Xan. Both parties shared their feelings on Instagram stories and they even pulled the plug on a music video that they had made together because of the drama. There was a lot of drama on social media regarding this. Honestly, I don't know why they chose to make this breakup so public. I mean, they easily could have just said the things they did over the phone. The fact that their fans were involved in their breakup and even had receipts to share about them was just really making the situation 10 times worse. And their fans hated them too. At number four, Charlie Sheen and Brett Rossi. Charlie Sheen has been sued by his ex, Brett Rossi. That's how you know when you hate your ex. You sue them. But it's for good reason. Rossi sued the former Two and a Half Men star back in 2015 for allegedly hiding his HIV status from her while they were in a relationship, as well as allegedly forcing her to get an abortion while they were together. Rossi also alleged that she was a towards her on multiple occasions. Despite originally saying that she would settle when Sheen offered a million dollars as settlement, she later went back on that deal and decided to take him to court for the allegations instead. After hearing the things that Rossi was accusing Charlie of, I'm honestly not surprised that she engaged in a legal battle. The details of her allegations towards him are pretty serious and brutal, so it's quite understandable why she would hate him. At number three, Kim K and Chris Humphreys. Though nowadays we rarely, if ever, hear stories come out about Kim K and her very brief marriage to Chris Humphreys, there are still some instances where Chris will come out with some shade about his short-lived relationship. The two were married in August 2011, but divorced just 72 days later. The basketball star has been sort of bitter since the split and has even alleged that Kim was cheating on him with Kanye from the beginning. In the past, Chris has said that since the split, he's been focusing on things that he can control as a bit of a shady nod to Kim's flip-flopping in the relationship. And even after Kim's internet-breaking paper magazine spread, he has said, quote, I'm not someone who's paying attention to things that don't really matter in my world. Chris has said that following their divorce, he was really hated by Kim's fans and that he was in a dark place in the aftermath of their marriage. He's pretty upset at the whole situation. It seems like maybe not directly because of Kim, but because of the situation and its publicity. At number two, Ariana Grande and Pete Davidson. At the time, Ariana and Pete's relationship slash engagement was cute, but after their breakup, that's when things kind of turned ugly. When they called off their engagement, Ariana told press that her relationship with Pete was a quote, distraction, frivolous and fun and insane and highly unrealistic. Pete has also gotten some jabs in there through his comedy show, saying that if he had done what Ariana did by quote, spray painting himself brown and hopping on the cover of Vogue, and talking about his ex, then his career would be over. Harsh. Mm. The back and forth never really stopped as they seemed to casually talk about each other. Ariana claimed that Pete never stopped talking about the relationship for relevance, tweeting, quote, for someone who claims to hate relevancy, you sure love clinging to it, huh? Saltiness all around, guys. Through songs and comedy specials, their relationship sure did a lot for them career-wise, but not so much emotionally, it seems. And finally, at number one, Mariah Carey and Nick Cannon. Mariah and Nick's relationship seemed pretty okay until their divorce in 2014. Though they cited that their breakup got messy because emotions got in the way, specifically regarding their kids, some think that something messier took place. While performing in Tokyo in 2014, Mariah took the first swing at Nick while singing Billie Holiday's song, Don't Explain. The song that is already about infidelity had its lyrics changed by Mariah from I know you cheat, right or wrong, don't matter, to I know you cheated, mother effer. I mean, does it get any worse than that? It really doesn't. She literally called Nick out on stage for cheating in front of a lot of people. That's some hatefulness right there, people. Enough said. At number 10, Jennifer Aniston and Brad Pitt. Before Brandolina took over Hollywood, Benifer was a thing. Actually, I don't know if they had a ship name, but if not, 
I just made one. You're welcome. Jennifer and Brad's romance story started in the 90s, meeting for the first time in 94, but going on their first date in 98. After two years of dating, the wedding of the year took place in 2000 on a bluff in Malibu because nothing says romance and everlasting love like standing on a cliff. Things were okay until Angelina came into the picture after she and Brad met while working on Mr. and Mrs. Smith. Fast forward to 2005 and Benifer was no more. They filed for divorce, making room for Brandelina. It was a whirlwind breakup because of the cheating scandals as Andy became the other woman of sorts, and even as things died down over the years, tabloids would bring this drama up from time to time, almost making it seem as though things aren't exactly over for this unfortunate love triangle. It seems as though Brad and Jen have reunited in 2020 as they are both now single, but I don't know if you can really call it a comeback from that heavily publicized breakup. At number 9, Chrissy Stewart and Robert Pattinson. 2013 was a rough time for Twilight fans. Not only were they still heartbroken and mourning the death of their beloved vampiric saga, but they were also mourning the death of their OTPs, Kristen Stewart and Robert Pattinson. Since the beginning of the Twilight franchise, fans were obsessed with Kristen and Rob's relationship, wishing that they would take their on-screen love into the real world. For years, the actors had shut down rumors that they were dating until 2011 when they finally confirmed that they were together. Fans were ecstatic and soon came speculations that a proposal was soon to come, but unfortunately that moment never came. In 2013, while working on the film Snow White and the Huntsman, Kristen was caught cheating on Rob with the film's director, Rupert Sanders. Pop Rock had speculated that something was going on between them for a while, and so they finally got confirmations of this affair when the two were caught getting cozy together. When news of this scandal broke, it got crazy, and soon we saw statements from Rupert's wife as well as news that Robert and Kristen had broken up officially. This ended with Kristen being labeled a homewrecker, and a lot of people still hate her for it. Rob's heartbreak was heavily publicized, and most people took his side, but really, I think their whole relationship was just a publicity stunt, and they needed a wild way to end it. But what do you guys think? At number 8, Johnny Depp and Amber Heard. By now, everyone and their mothers know about Johnny and Amber. Their relationship was highly publicized last year following their trial, but their initial breakup was also a messy ordeal, even though it happened nearly 5 years ago. Johnny and Amber first filed for divorce in 2016, but was finally finalized in 2017. Their divorce proceedings were quite the scandal, as Amber made the accusation that Johnny had been abusive towards her, though now we all know that that was a big ol' ball of BS. In their divorce settlement, Amber was awarded $7 million to be paid by Johnny, and Amber claimed that she would be donating the money to two charities, which also turned out to be a lie. And they went their separate ways as Johnny kept their properties and cars. The biggest story to come out of this breakup was the bombshell of Johnny's treatment of his wife. Johnny lost a lot of work because of her claims, and his name was pretty much ruined because of it. Fast forward to 2020, and the drama continues, making this one of the messiest breakups ever. At number 7, Taylor Swift and Calvin Harris. Now obviously we couldn't make a list talking about the messiest breakups, without including Taylor Swift. I mean, she's built her entire career on breakup songs, and you obviously can't have the breakup song without the breakup. Arguably, one of Taylor's messiest breakups was with DJ Calvin Harris, and though it didn't end up with a lot of upfront hostility, there was a lot of shade, a lot of jealousy, and a lot of drama. After a brief relationship, Taylor and Calvin broke up in 2016, and when news broke of their split, it was speculated that they broke up because their spark had fizzled out, and that things just weren't working out for them. No hostility and no drama, they just fell out of love. Things were fine until Taylor went public with her new relationship with Marvel actor Tom Hiddleston a little over two weeks after breaking up with Calvin. This started to stir drama because some fans as well as some news sources believed that Taylor was only dating Tom to make Calvin jealous. Tom and Taylor were seen traveling together and meeting Taylor's parents. Meanwhile, Calvin was being bombarded by paparazzi asking about his take on this new relationship. Things escalated into the music world as reports came out involving Rihanna into Taylor and Calvin's relationship troubles, and Calvin even alleged that Taylor was still texting him weeks after they were over. This breakup was unnecessarily messy, but it made for some good music content for Taylor. At number 6, Zayn Malik and Perry Edwards. Another complicated relationship here, this time with former One Direction member Zayn Malik and Lil Mix member Perry Edwards. After meeting in 2011, dating in 2012, and getting engaged in 2013, Zayn and Perry's perfect world came crumbling down in 2015 after a dramatic and messy public breakup. When news broke of their split, fans just had to know why. These two were loved by so many fans, and for them to suddenly call it quits, people wanted to know what was going on. It was alleged that Zayn broke up with Perry over text, but I don't know if that was really true or not. About a week after initial reports of their split, fans learned that the couple's home was put on the market, and that apparently Zayn had asked Perry to move out of their house shortly after their breakup. Perry was having a hard time with the sudden split, even breaking down in tears on stage at one of her girl group's concerts.
concerts. Meanwhile, news outlets were reporting on Zayn's parties at his Bel Air mansion. The media as well as fans were divided in choosing sides. Perry was being shown as the blindsided and broken one, while Zayn was being seen as aloof and cold. Not too long after the breakup, Zayn was seen hanging around model Gigi Hadid, and it was thought that Zayn had left Perry for Gigi. Eventually, things sort of died down between Perry and Zayn, with the two subtly shading each other every once in a while. At number 5, Miley Cyrus and Liam Hemsworth. Miley and Liam's relationship was certainly complicated. They were on and off for 10 years before ending things in 2019, and even then, their divorce was messy. Miley and Liam got married in December 2018, but after 8 months of marriage, they confirmed their split and filed for divorce. What made things messy was Miley's unexpected and sudden relationship with Caitlyn Carter. Miley and Caitlyn took a trip together after their respective relationships had ended and entered into a new romantic relationship with each other. A lot of people speculated that Miley had cheated on Liam with Caitlyn and that it was the reason why she left him, but Miley denied those allegations. Liam and Caitlyn's ex, Brody Jenner, were seen shading their exes for moving on like this, but eventually things cooled off. Miley and Liam's divorce was finalized in January 2020, and apparently it was a very hard time for Miley, as she referred to the divorce as death because it was so big and so public. At number 4, Selena Gomez and Justin Bieber. This is another one of those relationships that are just hard to map out because they're so all over the place and complicated. Much like Miley and Liam, Selena and Justin were on and off throughout the years, and so their breakup was just as messy because it spanned over a long time. It's almost as though they broke up in stages before finally calling it quits for good. Really, there is no official ending to their relationship because things were always up in the air. They would break up and then the possibility of them getting back together was always there. Even when the two of them got into new relationships, things would always somehow come back to the two of them. Justin allegedly got into a fight with one of Selena's boyfriends because he still had feelings for her, and Selena would always be asked about Justin even if they weren't together. The time they spent in the news between relationships pretty much serves as their big messy breakup because, like I said, before, it spanned for such a long time, it's like it was broken into phases like the MCU. I guess things officially ended for Jelena when Justin married Haley Baldwin, and let's hope it stays that way because no one needs that toxic energy again. At number 3, Angelina Jolie and Brad Pitt. Brad Pitt doesn't seem to have much luck with his relationships because he has another messy breakup, but this time with Angelina Jolie. As I mentioned at the beginning of this video, Brad and Angelina met while Brad was still married to Jennifer Aniston, and Angie sort of replaced Jen. Though there was a Initially, some bad blood, things died down, and Brangelina was born. Brad and Angie spent 10 years together adopting a bunch of children and living a seemingly picture-perfect Hollywood life. The two got married in 2014, but just two years into their marriage, they got divorced. This breakup was intense and messy, and entertainment news sources were all over this story. Soon, cheating rumors started circulating, and later the matter of the children's custody fanned the flame. During their divorce proceedings, Brad's parenting came into question as allegations were made against him that questioned their kid's situation in Brad's care. Apparently, news came out about Angie's reason for ending their decade-long relationship with Brad, citing that he had gotten into a fight with their oldest child, Maddox, which prompted Angie to reevaluate their relationship. It was tumultuous and messy, but it seems as though they're both living their lives safely and separately at this time. At number two, Pete Davidson and Ariana Grande. Ariana and Pete's relationship took people by surprise. It was short and intense, and the breakup was messy too. The two started dating in May of 2018, and by late June, they were engaged. They fell for each other so quickly, moving in together and planning their lives together as well. But things ended as quickly as they began, and by October, they were done. After getting tattoos dedicated to each other, they were quickly covered up, and soon the shade began. Shortly after the news of their breakup was broadcast, Pete poked fun at his failed relationship in a comedy set, and Ariana then moved on to subtweeting her ex for shading her. And she even included a reference to their relationship in her song, Thank You Next. There was some back and forth shading and dissing each other in more jokes and music, but that all seems to be over now. Ariana is now engaged to someone else, and everyone seems to be moving on now. And finally, at number one, Chloe and Tristan's relationship absolutely exploded in the media because of cheating and backstabbing and just so much drama. Basically, this whole ordeal revolved around Chloe, Tristan, and Kylie Jenner's BFF, Jordan Woods. Tristan cheated on Chloe multiple times during her pregnancy, including a few times with Jordan Woods, who had been a family friend for years. When news of Tristan's infidelity broke, the internet went nuts, and so did the Car Jenner family. Chloe and Tristan ended up breaking up, and the family also broke up with Jordan after she backstabbed the family. Kylie weighed in on this scandal saying how heartbroken she was to find out that her best friend betrayed her like that. The breakup was also talked about on Keeping Up with the Kardashians, where Chloe's sisters, Kim and Courtney, came to her side and seriously wanted to fight Tristan. Their relationship has been rocky ever since, as Chloe only keeps him in her life for her daughter's sake. 